<laughs> so welcome to this Lacuna Festival's event with Colin Pierce and Kimling Morris. Um, we are at an event called In Visual Conversation With, which is a collaborative photographic project across borders. Um, so with that, I'm going to pass over to Kim Ling and Colin. So great, thank you. Um, and I'd like to say um, thank you very much for the uh, opportunity to uh, be be uh, allowing us to um, take part in this festival. It's 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 a delight, and we're looking forward to actually meeting you guys in in person. And um, well, I, I guess you want to know the origins really of in visual conversation with. Um, and I'll just bring that down here so we can see. Um, and uh, really, it's it was about. Uh, I suppose my background being um, mixed and having lived in many different countries, um, I'm always aware that while I'm in one country, I can't hang out with the guys in another country. So I, I want to um, want to be in connection with them, but it's also quite a surprise to me um, very often that um, their life goes on without me. Uh, you know, so many things change while you're away and you, you kind of in your head, everything's frozen and you go back and, um, it, you know, things have changed. And and you, you you really get a sense of these parallel existences on, on different parts of the world. So what I wanted to do within Visual Conversation With was um, have a look at, you know, just short snaps. And it's almost like a, a, a game of Chinese whispers. You start off with a conversation, you put in something, you get a response and a little bit of a conversation of saying, oh, this is what it's like where I am here. What's it like for you over there? Um, and I first approached uh, Colum, so oh, oh, uh, Colum Pierce. Um, and thank you, Colum, so much for, for agreeing to be part of this with me. Now, I've known Colum for years, I'd say over 20 years. Um, yeah. <laughs> Too long, yeah, you're right, too long. Um, and uh, we met in Paris when mm. Colin was a photographer for, uh, was it Paris Match? No, it was uh, well, Le Point, Le Point, Le Point Express. I never got the chance to walk in Paris Match, so. Oh, soon, well, soon, soon. Very, very good publication. <laughs> and uh, and uh, when our lives went different ways, so mm. I ended up going to Belgium and then to Ireland. Um, mm. And Colum ended up going to uh, Vietnam. And we still stayed in contact, obviously, for, for many years. And so it was it was a real joy when Colum was the first person to do uh, to, who agreed to do the, the Invisual uh, Conversation project with me. And also today, the last person, because we did this again. So I thought um, as, as a way of understanding uh, really the project, um, uh, I would we would actually go through and talk through um, this this way because we can't meet each other the distance yeah. between and uh, Tan Hoa in in Vietnam uh, is is quite long so on the 16th of March last year uh, we started the conversation and uh, Colm sent me this first picture and we really want to tell you more about in context of of our times I suppose more than anything um, yeah. So I thought I'll. So, uh, Colin, when when we first started this, um, mm -hmm. yeah, it was it was uh, you were already in lockdown. Oh uh, yeah, we were we were in lockdown pretty soon. Uh, we were in lockdown uh, mid uh, February of last year. Yeah, it was almost like uh, uh, the end of January. I think it was. We were in full lockdown. Everything was locked down. Uh, in here in in uh, in, uh, in Vietnam, so uh, it went, went very quiet, very quickly in Vietnam. So uh, yeah, so this is one of the pictures of a, a a a place where a lot of people go and a lot of people eat as well. And uh, and uh, I just wanted to kind of like the zig zig. If you see that word there, the D I C H, that zig, that means a uh, 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 pandemic. In Vietnamese, so uh, so that's a COVID nineteen, as you can see, and like it's uh, it's banned any sort of commerce, and uh, 
to this like this is yeah it's lovely to see you know like the leaves in the background it's almost like the um vietnamese version of tumbleweed yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i mean like and, and like uh uh it's a very unusual uh you know a very unusual uh uh kind of poster that i've seen that i've that uh, I, this covid19 was very unusual so uh, uh and so that's like that was a very it was a very different vietnam for me i know of course it's a different world now for everybody so this kind of like lockdown was all very new and uh and we i think we were one of the first, first countries to experience the lockdown after china right i think so you were very early and very you know because mm. you're a very busy town well uh i i you i i was just i just came to uh Tainua, believe it or not i just came three months before so we're actually quite quite a, a quiet town compared to uh, hanoi hanoi is four million people and uh, everybody's on top of each other but tang was quite quite a quite a, a nice place you know oh uh, yeah a newbie a newbie well, yeah when i took my next uh photo um mm. like obviously the link for me was the gates mm. and uh saying there was that um if you actually look at the gate that was used just for signposting how beautifully ornate it is it's um i wonder whether it's sort of um left over sort of french colonial look about it you know um which has been repurposed for it's, it's even got little yeah, wings and everything you know <laughs> <So> <laughs> Don't nothing so. goes to waste <laughs> our, our gates, uh, um, but i was actually in the uk at the time mm. and uh, the, the talk of the pandemic coming over was was starting on quite strongly. So um, it was a little bit of a um, a precarious time, really. I was seeing seeing my mother my and my sister, um, and I actually haven't seen them since this occasion um, over in the UK. So um, it was so peaceful in the countryside, you wouldn't actually think that the whole world was about to change or was in the process of change at the time. Um, and your next photo, Colm. Yeah, well, I, I took the tree again. I took the tree from your one and... Uh, and uh, Oats. The, <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah, this is kind of like, uh, and these, 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 uh, the, these leather bounding backs where they're drying and uh, at, 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 uh, in, at midday because it's all done by hand and glued by probably uh, acetate I think that is the name of the glue I'm not too sure about that but anyway these are hard uh, hard covers for ledgers or copy books and stuff like that and this is a typical image that you would see in Vietnam uh, so I took that I took the trees I said okay well I'll see what I can do with that so there you go that was that was uh it's a very different green with just uh, yeah it's a heavy green the sky is a very heavy green and a very black uh, yeah and some and the shadows are very harsh in Vietnam at, at midday and stuff like that you know so uh it'd be a different kind of shadow in Europe than it would be uh in, in Vietnam a, a you know sense of light do you yeah. find changing because of that sorry say it again photography adapt or change because well, of well yeah you don't usually go shooting in midday here you know it's too hot and it's too contrasty it's just way too hard for uh for to to see so you usually usually shoot in the morning or the evening you know yeah well i love edges I love, if you look at them the patterns and the colors of the ledges mm. and the mm. little oblongs mm. so i actually really liked um the, the, the two things there it was it was partly the colors and the little oblongs um yeah but also the sense of industry and mm. while i took this picture i nearly fell in one of the gas lines the, the potholes the trench that were being made there so it was quite um Yes, uh, it's, it's quite quite a busy time for the, the gas people mm -hmm. in our local town there in Guildford. Mm. So this is your response. Um, yeah, so to that. You, you, yeah, so uh, you could see, yeah, you could see all of it, Amanda. These, these are numbers for our private demolition crews, you know. Um, and uh, you, if you look at that one there, the blue one, it says, could, 
put beton. Beton is a French word for concrete. So, uh, uh, so yeah, you can you can phone these guys and they'll they'll come around and do a lot, demolish your house and take all the the, the steel inside the concrete. So that was for that was that the the, 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 the it, it a bit throwback to the French days because it was the French who introduced in the turn of the century beton, which is concrete. Uh, in, in, was that all made of concrete itself? No, uh, it... no, probably no, no. That's not made of concrete. It's made of brick, brick and brick and cement. Um, but um, has it become one uh, of those words that's generalised? You know, in the way that the yeah, French basket for for trainers when they mean because it comes from basketball playing. Basketball. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Some> baskets. <laughs> so, so yeah, these 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 are the numbers of the of the demolition crews. Yeah, uh, and uh, they knock down your house for you. They're all, yeah, as you can say, they're all over the place. You know, they go around with stencils. And, and spray them on, you know. Well, I, I kind of like that idea of stencils, and I took that. That's yeah. uh, walked up uh, Walkos Road in Cork. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There were some boarded up buildings, and uh, it had been sprayed on with with less purpose and more colour, I think. Yeah. Than the that looks guys. Like a it looks like a painting, doesn't it? Yeah, it's that kind yeah. of I think it's a bit chipboard. Ah, it's poor, yeah. got a lovely texture, obviously sort of falling apart with our, our lovely humid weather. That would um, rot in five minutes here, Kim. <laughs> oh, God, it would be, yes. Um, so... Good food, in, good food for mushrooms. <laughs> in, in your photo then, it, yeah. it picked up the yellow and it's, yeah. it's your, your house. Yeah, so this is where we're staying at the moment. Yeah, it's a rented place. So the kids are off, uh, off on, uh, on on the coronavirus uh, lockdown. So, uh, were you confined completely to the house? So, uh, we were just, uh, yeah, we could more or less, more or less. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, we just had to, yeah, we, we there was, it was weird because the speakers would come on every three or four hours and it was like, you know, it, was, it sounded like a bit like a war, you know. And uh, so, yeah, we just stayed indoors and uh, and that was it really, you know, and uh, we, d we did the best we could. Uh, yeah, as I said, like all the uh, items are, are placed here on, on the altars of one, three and five and never two, four and six because in, in, in ancient thinking, uh, infinity is the one, the three and five where round numbers are not really, not really, uh, uh, are not really, are, are, are for, uh, they just don't put round. They don't put uh, uh, even numbers on an altar. So, uh, uh, yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, you can you can, yeah, and so the I'm actually picking up on your religious theme there, yeah. and uh, sort of we have sort of a corner where all sorts of bits and pieces wash up. Um, mm. So it's kind of quite eclectic there with. Uh, mm. um, a, a, a can of drink from Mexico and uh, <laughs> the day of the dead. <laughs> yeah, you see the little poodle there, which is one of those oh, yeah. that used to be able to put onto mobile phones when mobile phones were small and That's had right, a yeah. on it so that you could have these bells and things that you could you could uh, attach to your phone. Yeah. And uh, the Chinese <laughs> Chinese shape money charm. Another. Yeah. Yeah. That jade is a, is is a huge color all over over Asia. They love that that color, that green jade stone color. You know, yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. very significant. Yeah, where where is it? Is this in your is this in your uh, studio? Oh, this was actually this is in the house. Oh my god, a okay. complete status of stuff. But okay. no, actually, I am a complete accumulator of stuff. I have to be honest. Okay. And <laughs> yeah. we had actually at this stage, I had just come back two days before lockdown was announced in Ireland so this I think was the first day of lockdown uh, yeah. for us which uh, di wasn't as bad as some places um, mm. still allowed uh, I think a kilometre walk around our house mm. time uh, okay so yeah uh, the Irish in me comes out and I saw I saw the the, the I took Kim's uh, uh, religious Virgin Mary, and I, I decided to do uh, uh, a kind of crucifix here. I saw these guys; these are crab farmers uh, at, uh, near Samson. Samson is a huge, popular area in uh, uh, in, in Vietnam. Yeah. So you're living by the sea. 
Well, we're not too far from the sea, you know, we're not too far. Uh, uh, but it's a lot of fishermen go out the flimsiest boats made from polystyrene and bamboo with an a car engine on top. So, um, yeah, they, and it says, uh, yeah, and that day they were two screaming, I don't know what they were, MIGs or a, a, a Su 35s, big, big aircraft, big uh, fighter jets flying around like butterflies that were flying around and screaming and these crab farmers just working away normal it was a very very surreal day flights yeah. are one thing like you know you barely see jet trails anymore let alone yeah. fight jets <laughs> yeah well they're very very small just you hear them before you see them you know uh and these these jets are tiny and they're all colored gray so you can't really see them but you have to be if you're right on top of you before you see them but yeah. uh yeah well um, so just past you yeah, that's too late. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the, these guys, these guys are out, out, out in the evening coming down. These are actually women, so that's typically, uh, the, the men don't really wear those hats. It's usually the women wear the conical hats, you know. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice. I, I think we have one at home. They're very comfortable, actually. Yeah, yeah. Nicely shaded. Yeah, oh, it's cool underneath the face, yeah. I, I love the sense of water and the reflected water that you have mm, there. Yeah. And I just like, I, I, you can almost feel the warm waves just over your toes and the splashing. I love that sense. And I miss that. Uh, <laughs> I, I love that about Southeast Asia. Yeah. Um, here is like, it's, it's, it's like an in inadvertent pond, as I put it. It was actually um, a, a flower container or a very large flower container, but kind of got blocked up and ended up becoming a, a small pond instead. But uh, I didn't clear it out because I actually like it and realised even even having a tiny amount of water like that, although like it does hold mosquitoes and things, mm -hmm. um, it does hold an awful lot of life. When you just spend time and look into it, um, you can see little squiggles and movements and things. Um, I'm amazed this dandelion managed to find its way. It's climbing its way out of there and it flowered and everything afterwards. Oh, it's me. <laughs> 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 beautiful so i i love that sense of reflection and and, and mm. calm actually the water mm. always makes you feel calm mm. so. so yeah uh so yeah as you say we, uh, this is typical yeah so um uh i i, I think we're in the again it's kind of the the lockdown still in uh still in business st still here uh yeah and this is this is my back this is my backyard or my front yard uh this is very vietnamese ba uh, barriers everywhere it's, uh, you know you can see this flowers mops that's our next door neighbor I your, your, your flower pots aren't as flooded as mine anyway <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And uh, a lot of life there, yeah. Uh, and like flowers, uh, roses don't are not really. I mean, they grow here, but they don't last very long, you know, because of the heat. So there's a yeah. lot. Yeah, this, this is this is very typical. Uh, 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 typical Vietnam in, in your front, front door, and you got this this number. Which the number here is actually uh, for internet people. Internet, they'll store your internet usually. Oh, yes, yeah. I love the way that's kind of welded and has become part of your backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can see here yeah. the little gap through, and you can see. Yeah, yeah um, everything, every, everything's put in everywhere. Laura, Wash machine it, at the night, motorbikes, kids, bicycles, you know. Every, <laughs> but on the veranda, it's it's always a sort of like lovely sort of mixed yeah. feeling of of living inside and out. I mean, um, I mean, they, they, we do. They do have balconies here, but they're way too hot to go out on. You know, I don't know why they put them. I think it's a French thing. You know, they have balconies, but nobody goes out on the balconies to have a cup of tea because you'd be born to life. <laughs> I don't know for for my um, Singaporean relatives anyway. A lot of them, when they have balconies, it's used as kind of either utility utility space. So there's kind of outdoor cooking for anything that's going to be yeah. smelly. Or yeah, for fish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> buying your clothes mostly yeah, um, we're, we're what i woke up at four o'clock in the morning with cooking oil yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, this is my backyard it's it's very <laughs> different um and for a little while we, we were kind of confined in there but like the absolute mercy is we had such good weather that time it, it was mm. amazing and there's my ginger cat sitting on the wall he could see further oh, than i can see him yes i can see him <laughs> He's looking out on the world and 
I could only hear this world, you know, because we were still inside at the time. And, uh, thankful that we even had a little square to go out to, which was nice. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, again, so here's another, here's a, this, so as I said, there was this, this, most of this stuff is taken around because we couldn't, uh, we couldn't move around Tangwa. So, uh, yeah, a little herb garden down, the, just down the way. A uh, very old couple uh, have this, yeah, they've been there for ages. Uh, and yeah. Lovely. And yeah, and like they just produce a lot of piece of, a lot of land that people grow veg and, and, uh, and they do the best they can to make it, a, 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 you know, a, a vegetable a herb garden. This is quite, you see this all over the place. It's lovely. It's amazing what you can get in such a small space, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could grow some. Yeah. You grow cucumber. Uh, yeah, grow cucumbers and, and and tomato. But the space there, there's not much sunshine, so you'd have to you'd have to go for some uh, veg. Uh, or I think it would be difficult to grow fruit in there uh, because fruit needs more sunshine. But, but uh, that, it, get nice and veg. green. Leafy fed, with, with, you know, leafy stuff with salads and stuff would grow well there. Ooh, I'd love to eat some Vietnamese food right now. <laughs> well, I, I picked up mostly, I was trying to pick up. So if you look in there, the colors, yeah. uh, the yeah. shadows and the gray, the lines. Um, the bamboo lines there, there, yeah. There. So uh, this is actually on our key in Cork, um, mm. and where we're we growing. Oh, you can Kim, we don't get those shadows here in, 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 in Vietnam. They're a lot more intense, a lot more shorter, the shadows. Yeah, it's a long you know. evening light, yeah. which uh, we, we oh. rarely get that. I, it's like in Southeast Asia, in the tropical parts, yeah. it's in how quickly it suddenly becomes night. You suddenly notice it's sort of getting a bit darker. You say, bang. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. And in Ireland, like, when is it going to get dark? When is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so slow it's amazing and i guess yeah. when you go further further towards the poles it, it's yeah. intense yeah. some people don't but when i'm talking when i'm talking to vietnamese people they don't believe that that it gets dark at 11 o'clock at night in ireland <laughs> <laughs> i went to a wedding in um in finland and i think yeah. we arrived about seven but it was a four hour journey four mm. or five hour journey so by the time mm. we got the high car organized and everything um mm -hmm. But it, it was midnight or more, and it was this really strange lavender light that made you feel like you were buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, like, here we are a year on, and mm -hmm. I just finished another round of In Visual Conversation with, so it's it's In Visual Conversation with Colin Pierce 2021. Um, and it's really interesting to compare, mm -hmm. I suppose, uh, the difference, what's gone on, and I sent you this first photograph. Right, yeah. This, it, it was like a, it, it's actually a, a anti-vax campaign, and the sense of people and people packed was almost shocking. <laughs> We're so uh, unused to that for a long time. Yeah. Uh, but uh, w when this day was out and people were you know, like out on the street. Mm. It, it was quite a surprise. That, um, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a French one there, Pat Vaccine. I can see that one. Vaccine? No, that's, uh, uh, that's Irish. Oh, it's all re. Vaccine? Ah! There you go. You're Irish. <laughs> that's all I, all I can say is lava <laughs> and Dora <Dora Milimahagat. laughs> <laughs> But having said that, my, Viet my Vietnamese is better than my Gaelic. Uh, sure. Yeah, I was going to say you're French. You you speak French and you speak. Uh, yeah, Vietnamese. Uh, so. <laughs> Great. so I can see you've taken the colours there uh, from the flag. Yeah, actually, yeah. If you go back, yeah, to the yeah, yeah. It was it was, it was the, the, the Sacred Heart, and, uh, and and I found that more more and more in that picture of that of that uh, kite, the guy with the kite, and here it's. This is very Vietnam. These are these will be later used for for water sewerage and stuff like that. That what that guy, what that young kid is standing on. And there's a Vincom building. There's a big uh, uh, one of the, the tallest building in in, in Tang Hoa around here. And the children are playing on on waste land, which will be very soon developed. Uh, yeah, it's the tallest building. Yeah, sorry. How many stories do you know? 
Uh, I don't know. I mean, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, uh, torty stories, but I mean, the, the, in Ho Chi Minh, they have huge stuff, you know. But in Tangwa, it's a fairly, it's a fairly new city. It's not a new city, but it's it's beginning to kind of like get developed and stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, about 15, yeah. 15 years ago, Cork took the title of having the tallest building in Ireland, and yeah. it's like, it's very small. Like I, I can't remember how many stories. Uh, I think it's eleven stories. Yeah. <laughs> It seems so small compared to other other places. Well, let's hope they don't go any bigger here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love those uh, palms. They're really yeah, nice. yeah. They'll be used for lined streets later, you know. And uh, but they'll be all they'll be all houses very soon. Yeah, the development is very quick. Oh yeah, very quick. Yeah, I think yeah. yeah. And and so uh, the kites are they all phoenixes? Well, they're very simple kites. They're uh, are they are they? They're probably yeah. Are they? Are they uh, I'm not too sure, but they're just very bam or a bamboo cross like that. And they just they don't go all over the place. They just kids just let them go out, and they just go up and they fly in the one place. They stay. They, they kite fight. Oh no 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 no! They don't see that here. <laughs> they just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sense of air and and space yeah. and some freedom. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, my next picture is completely the opposite. You, did, <laughs> you, you are having a very very soft day. So like when, soft when, day. When, I haven't heard that in a while. No, it's a soft day. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, we should get outside. There's a forty percent solar eclipse. We couldn't even see the sun. Not all day, let alone the eclipse that went. <laughs> And <laughs> saying like, uh, like pretend, pretend, zoom in and have a look at the, these guys. They look they're miserable. Like, they, they, they do. They're like kids that have actually skipped school and suddenly realise. Yeah. You know, soft day. Basically, basically, what does a soft day mean? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, soft old day, boy. <laughs> yeah, a, a very oh, yeah. soggy day. You're from, you're from Cork. What does a soft day mean? <laughs> A very long, soft rain. It doesn't yeah. patter on the ground. It's the sort of thing where you're walking through and you realise that yeah. everything, like it's water, clings to you. Yeah. <laughs> without, actually, without actually, as 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 as, like, as compared to it's a desperate day where the where the water where the water where the rain actually comes down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd yeah, like you last night. You had a thunderstorm, didn't you? Oh yeah. But we got yeah. cut off completely. Was, yeah. And you didn't get your uh, your electricity back. You didn't uh, get the leggy back until three. Yeah, but it's only, I, I was uh, just uh, about you two weren't weeks. Meet us today. <laughs> it came about two weeks ago. We had fireworks at the street because one of the the heavy power lines actually broke and <laughs> fell down to the street. So I was going. <laughs> Oh, no, God. Can, I hope. no, no, not yet, not yet. Oh. Anyway, developing city. We, you know, you, you, when you live in Vietnam, you have to be very zen about these things. And, you know, it, it's, it's just come a... out, come out. <laughs> <laughs> soft L there, yeah. So yeah, I took I took the color from that from that poor soft L dog there, and uh, and and this is yeah, I'd like the, I like the browns. I think it was particularly on the back brown on the back there which i was uh, which i saw this 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 yeah yeah i think that's what caught my eye the most i think yeah and uh, uh uh i use that color which i kind of find all over vietnam again and if you look at if you look at the if you look at the next slide uh, i think they're banyan trees where the roots actually come down from from the tree and uh they're the only trees that vietnamese will not cut down they could have the other tree down because uh, 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 they believe the ghosts in those trees, so it's very difficult to get people to cut those trees down, especially. Oh, it's it's down. like you know when you see pictures of Angkor when it was first discovered, and you've got these. Yeah, yeah, it's very difficult. Very difficult to get those. So people won't do it. They won't do it. They think the ghosts are, are inhabited in it. You know, like it's the Buddha tree, the ba it's a banye banye tree, I think it's called. And of course, the roots come down and are huge trees, very strong, and they grow very well. So. Uh, uh, it, it's actually, you know what? That's I can feel the dampness off that corner. It looks like mosquito even to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, My yeah. skin tells me not to go anywhere near that because it's full of mosquitoes <laughs> rather than ghosts. Or maybe mosquitoes yeah. are ghosts. 
yeah so there you are so that's why a lot of yeah a lot uh you know they'll even run they'll even make roundabouts for trees like that so that they don't cut them down and stuff so they're very the sacred trees you know so well uh, i i took a photograph of a plant that wasn't so sacred it's a it's a buttercup but it's just uh it's actually lovely the way it pushes its way through into little gaps mm, um, mm, mm, behind um a greenhouse that i was just constructing mm. um and uh, so i really like the way it sort of shone through the the um uh it's not perspex i can't remember what that stuff is called but mm. anyway um, well, your idea behind that one was what, 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 from my one. What did you get? How did you get to that one? It's really about sort of like the survival of plants. Ah, okay. Plants sure. which I love. So the way I know mm. yours, yours was a very large, large tree that looks like it's it's, it's looking to straddle and and yeah. almost take like over every, take her over take over everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, whereas this is a little one that's sort of yeah. kind of more cheeky, but he he's kind of the same. His his little runners, you see the little runners down there. Mm. Okay. Um, they're going to sort of like do the same and creep across the places so mm. he's kind of like um a more innocent looking version of of the same thing a smaller version of the same thing it's a survivor um, <laughs> so I, I, after that okay so again yeah i went back to this so this is the the, the yellow again and this time we're, we're actually uh eating so people can come around things have changed so we can yeah. eat, uh, 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 eat and, uh, and and receive friends, which was great, you know. So this is a typical typical eating time. Kids put, uh, eat, uh, coming in, and uh, uh, you can see the house is a bit more uh, bordelic, as the French would say, a bit more messed up now. And uh, yeah, these are these fun are yours. Yeah. <laughs> And, and and that's it yeah i mean like uh, uh this typical typ typical scene uh in, in vietnam uh all the family come around and just uh eat the kids eat first and then the kids and then uh parents and would eat later you know ah it looks nice it looks tasty yeah yeah I also yeah. wanted to get in the sense of family meal, um, mm -hmm. and this this is what I wanted here was and it's not just picking up on the yellow here, yellow, yeah. but the sense of inside out. So you can actually see the inside, um, which mm -hmm. is in focus, but outside, which is reflected in the the double glazing, which is why it's double. Mm -hmm. And there we are. So there's there's my husband trying not to be in the photo, but uh, uh, there. <laughs> he is there uh, and just preparing the dinner. Um, and yeah. you can look Asians but, well when we get sun here because it's not as as guaranteed as it is for you we grab yeah. opportunity to go out yeah. <laughs> like, you well, know. well you know I, I i i go out in the sun i'm completely covered i've got a face mask i cover myself i never i don't take the sun I, you know like uh there's a different there's a different mentality to the sun over here you know but it's also a different kind of heat it is. It's more, it's more intense. And, yeah. It's very hard heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and, certainly uh, tropics. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and and what what, what do, do what was the what, why did you celebrate the dinner there? Why did what, what was it just an ordinary dinner? Or you just an ordinary like, dinner. I'm I'm uh, very lucky that uh, my husband likes to cook, so I'm I am actually a spoiled. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's like we just eat eat out. We do eat dinner properly as well i think it's i think it's important to have a, a meal together and to catch up on the things that have been going on during the day um, you know, i think it's more important to have a, a, a husband and cook <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I hope you're doing the cooking there Carla. i do indeed yeah yeah i cook uh, all sorts of uh, uh mine's very uh, kind of stir fry very stir fry and lots of uh, soups from vegetables and stuff like that yeah it's a very light based a very light based cooking uh, uh, and stuff like that about families you're saying yeah. that yeah, the Zading, Zading is, 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 is a family for Vietnamese and it's typically uh, 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 a Vietnamese uh, uh, 
poster. Uh, Ho Chi Minh there. I don't know if you don't know Ho Chi Minh. He's the Uncle Ho, Uncle Uncle Ho, Mi, uh, back Ho, as they call him. So yeah, the father of the nation, you know. And like uh, the Vietnamese are very, uh, very fat. Uh, most Asian countries, are, uh, f uh, are, especially the poorer nations, are very family orientated. That's where they they get their, 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 the the pillar of society. It's a bit different than Europe. It's also changing in bit in, in in Japan as well where uh, 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 you know like they, they, they prefer to have a, a boy than a girl that's changing a lot now uh, so these Asian countries are, are, are changing but they've still got that uh, Vietnam has still got that very heavy uh, uh, family orientation toward, towards uh, towards society I'm not saying that it's it's it's, it's it, it, it isn't changing because it is but it, it's changing in different ways and stuff like that and yeah and this is this is kind of like the whole so you can see the army there you can see the people that's a bondo is bondo's army and stuff like and that even in the know? background so there seem to be people having their uh, having their picnic or what what are they doing in the background you know actually, actually it's those actually uh, 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 i i think it's the kai flyers again oh okay yeah 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 okay. yeah and so oh, it, yeah. it's got a very soviet feel about it which is uh thinking like yeah. where we have well, just by chance, you see the bombardier. Um, yeah, well, uh, beer it, towel, but it's sort of like quite a different graphic. Yeah, well, it, it is the communist. It's the Leninist, uh, Leninist Marxist communist of, uh, of, uh, of, of of Russia rather than the Maoist Chinese uh, communism. You know, it's more it's more orientated towards the the the, the, the Russian communism. But it's, but it's still got the very um, it's like the red and gold, which very often are the colours of weddings and and festivals. yeah, you know the doves and the peace and stuff like that. You know, so yeah, it, it, it's a uh, it, it's a it, 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 it's a picture. It's a picture. It's, it's very picture. icon filled. Yeah, I take a you know the sense of uh, icon as well. Yeah, know, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and just uh, and I, I like let me just, I like the way you have, you have the he uh, if you look at. Uh, uh, Mac Hall, he has his hand up here, and you've got the girl with the hand up as well. So I like that, that touch. And now I hope you realize I went through danger taking this photograph because uh, look yeah. at the crows, they look like they're thinking about dropping a message. They didn't want me there at all. But uh, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> and you were ready to catch. <laughs> Clear, clear sky, beautiful clear <laughs> sky, and uh, yeah, but it doesn't happen that often. Yeah. But, and you were talking about the shape there of of, of the, the the girl, and you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So I went, I went, and I took the blue, and then I, I, I kind of. This is the, again. This is an area I'm working on at the moment. Uh, uh, fishermen and uh, these flimsy boats that they go go out in, and uh, these are these are women. I think they're washing uh, uh, some fish that was brought in the early morning. And yeah, the Kim's silhouette there. I tried to I tried to use that, and uh, uh, and I could I I couldn't get. I wanted to kind of get that thing, you know, where the girl is catching the ball. I wanted to kind of get that, someone catching something. I couldn't do it. So that the best was I could just do the silhouette sort of thing, you know. But uh, it's very interesting as well. So when you, did you take it in the evening time or morning? Oh, that was taken at four o'clock in the morning, Kim. Four, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or five, four or five. Yeah, yeah. That's not an evening shot. That's a, 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 the blue arrow. I know. Yeah, usually blue arrows at night. See, yesterday uh, then. When when the hot hours um, do you, do you siesta in the hot hours? Yeah, they, everybody sleeps at like nap twelve to one, you know, and then and then they're out again. Yeah. Yeah. When the mosquitoes start biting, you wake up again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was I was thinking about what what you do in the light. I actually thought that it was um, evening. I should have asked you before, but it's actually morning. So I was thinking, oh, what do we do in the evening times? And uh, mm -hmm. uh, so. Oh, just enjoying a little cocktail. Um, so you've just got the sense of um, the garden and uh, the kitchen again, which is always very important for us. And, and like the glass that's kind of like water, like frozen water. Um, so this is eating hour at your place. It's, yeah, there's this typical kitchen here. Typical Vietnamese kitchen. Um, I know it looks like a mess. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, I love it. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, we have we what this is where we do the washing. We have a rat that lives up beside behind this water. Uh, he, he climbs, he climbs down and uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, I, I kind of like I like him, so I leave a bit of food there from. <laughs> so uh yeah, this is where we wash and stuff, you know. And like you do with Vietnam, you just get used to doing stuff the way they do it, you know, and like I don't find any problem with that. I don't need I wash, I get down on my little stool and wash the dishes here. We make the food. Uh, everything is under one stove. It's a bit like camping in your own house. I don't care. I like it, you know. <laughs> it's nice. It's there's a lot of relaxed uh, feel to it. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's like just a mess. Well, hey, who cares? <laughs> and so I, I was actually looking at your your storage cabinets, uh, your storage systems. Yeah, yeah actually everything locked up after a while and it got so gammy it ends up going outside and we have this sort of swill up area in in yeah. the garden where sort of all sorts of garden might be useful bits and pieces tend to yeah. grow yeah. I think. So, um but the stones are being graded small stones in the bowl at the top middle stones big stones at the bottom depending on what little fixes you need to do around the garden yeah what, what I like about, about our work is they're completely different different styles and they're actually complement each other, which is uh, which is really good, you know. Yeah, I think yeah. I've yeah. been enjoying seeing what you've come up with and yeah. that sense of of life in Vietnam. Well, what, what I find about what if I go back to that last picture, what I find is that there's not I don't find it very damp. I think it's a dry. There's a dryness in that picture that I. Uh, I, I don't see the wood, the wood rotting and stuff like that, you know, but it looks very dry. Yeah, it's, uh, well, I think also because we had three days of sunshine. By this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look at you. We've <laughs> almost got to the stage now. It's like, meh, we can get out in, in, the, in the streets and we can shop. Yeah, I don't want to. Whereas before it was like, because you can't do it. This time last year, it's like, you can't do it. You know, desperate to get your one hour out of the house, walking yeah. as far as you can, which is quite good to get to know your yeah. Um, Because I think, me, I don't know for you, when you said you'd only moved in three months uh, yeah, before, before, first started so you've been there a year and a half have you found it sort of easy to settle in um uh, it's very easy yeah but i've been in vietnam for a long time now so any city is easy to settle in you know oh i meant i meant within the town that you're in ah yeah yeah i yeah no problem i really like it here it's very quiet uh, yeah Quite it's very, just a difficult know. time to to start um a new life somewhere but i guess also yeah. once you have kids um especially if they're going to school uh, yeah. it's easier for for you to get to know your neighborhood yeah yeah the kids kids make the place really they do <laughs> <laughs> and uh so you sent over, I guess, it, was it the pots and pans or the general? Yeah, thing? yeah, I just saw it. So, yeah, the pots and pans. This is, uh, so this is, this is a typical outdoor uh, cooking, a lot that you know, like they cook on coal fires here, and uh, and everything is done here, and the most amazing dishes will be produced and stuff, you know. So this is a typical. Uh, this is yeah, this disappearing Vietnam. There's not, you know, like there's more less. Of, this is all disappearing. People are getting electric, you know, and all this sort of stuff is kind of like uh, it's very old school, you know. And um, just would it be rude of me to suggest that that shelf looks awfully high, especially? Uh, it's probably like there, a, to to, there to dry, and it would be probably a lot of smoke. So it'd be good if it was out of the way, you know. Oh, and they they they. Uh, roast over charcoal or what? Well, they, yeah, the soup, they, they have a, a bit of tan, which is kind of like a, a, a coal, a mixture of coal that they uh, that they uh, that they, they they use, and they use charcoal for grilling and stuff like that. For the cooking, the main pots here and the one in the corner there, that would be uh, uh, for boiling. They would use a, the, the, it's a coal, it's kind of like a mixture of coal mixture that is. Uh, I think they're not they worried slap. about mediums getting into the food. Uh, no, <laughs> it doesn't taste that. It does no, I do. I do. It, it doesn't smoke, it glows. Oh, it's, 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 oh, oh, you know what I mean? Like, they it, it, it doesn't give off, it's not like coal, coal, it just it just glows, it just gets very, very hot. Oh, okay, yeah. you, see that, you see that, um, plastic mesh. Uh, bowl that's on the right. I see, yeah, yeah, the sea, yeah. So Southeast Asian. Ah, yeah, yeah. You have loads of them. There's a certain 
pink and, the, and there's a certain sort of primrose yellow which is the, like the, raffia and anything plastic seems to come out in one of those four colors yeah and then you have the big pots there the big pots and the black the, the black oh they're huge yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it yeah that's is that just for for one family Ah, uh, yeah, but one family is like three generations. I do, you know. They they usually, you know, they they have uh, uh, the grandfather, the mother's grandfather, grandparents, then the the first generation, second generation, third generation. Yeah, so that yeah, they would have big pots for uh, get-togethers and anniversaries and stuff like that. Oh, it's it's lovely. It's just a beautiful kitchen, very tidy. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As its place, you can see. As yeah. So, Carla, I've got to say thank you very much for um, letting us see. Um, well, thank you, thank you for thank you yeah, guys, no. thank you guys for the, the especially Kim. Thank you for inv uh, inviting me. Uh, uh, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed uh, uh, our our chat and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps we should try something in twenty twenty two. It'll be interesting to see the progress. Yeah. 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 I hope I hope that was interesting for everybody, guys. Yes, yeah, really I, hope so. uh, I hope so as well. Um, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm actually currently, so I've, I've carried out some in visual conversation with uh, parlays, as I'm calling them, from people from different countries, from Belgium, mm, Cuba. Wow. So they, they actually have happened. And if anybody from another country wants to have a parley with me then dm me because i'm always up for having a visual conversation with someone um it's lovely to see uh aspects of life from from different parts of the world and 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 humbling a lot of a lot of times yeah. to see what other people uh contend with and how how they get around their own their own problems um so and and if you Want to follow Colin mm. Pierce on Instagram? Yeah. Uh, he's got some beautiful. Oh, you're putting up a lot of your old photographs from yeah. Dublin. Ireland, Dublin, the 80s. Yeah, I, I just like to say also that there's two books published with Cafe Royal Books in the UK. Check that out. Cafe Royal Books have two, uh, two, two of my books published in Sheriff Street. So just have a, have a, have a quick look there, guys, if you have some time. Oh, well done! I didn't yeah. realize. That. So, and and they're both um, photog like uh, photographs. It's all it, it documentary oh, photography. Yeah. yeah, no, it's just just Ireland for the moment, and uh, I, I have the French stuff coming up. I have to go through all of that. So, a lot oh of yes, because that's wonderful. I remember when you had your studios round the corner from my place, ah. and <laughs> yeah, gone, <laughs> wasn't it? Oh, they were they were the days, eh? Oh yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> it was good fun, and. Uh, the other thing that I'm doing for the rest of the Lacuna Arts Festival is that um, I've taken first photographs from several different parlays and uh, over the next few days like I, I'm inviting people to respond to these photographs so tomorrow I'll look through some responses for uh, photo number one you'll actually have to go into either Lacuna Festivals or my, uh, my Instagram to have a look um, but uh, photograph number one and I'll look through the answers tomorrow and post up some of the responses then on Saturday responses for number two Sunday responses for number three and so on so I hope that people would be interested uh, in taking a look at these and then looking at what's happening around them and responding. You could respond in colour, you could respond in subject, you could respond in just um, layout, really. So uh, do take a look at these and hopefully uh, we'll have a response. And um, thank you very much to... Um, I'll just stop sharing there. Thank yeah. you to uh, Sarah Jane and Simon for, for this wonderful opportunity thank you so much Colin um, okay to do this with me <laughs> so it's it's okay. right thank Thanks, you guys. so much for that that was Thanks, really guys. really yeah. interesting okay. um, if people are wanting to respond to those photos can they, is it best for them to do that directly on Instagram Oh, uh, yeah, so uh, if, if you want to ask now, either go by Instagram or uh, I didn't notice there was a chat. 
Um, <laughs> so yeah, so soft, soft day. Uh, yeah, we, I think we talked about that, didn't we? Um, and thank you, Jill. Uh, those uh, and Lewis, thank you. Um, so yes, if anybody's got any photographs, absolutely contact us uh, through Instagram. Okay. And if you've got photos to respond as well uh, for the rest of it, also please DM me through Instagram. Okay. Thank you okay. so much, Colin. Thank you so much, Kimling. We really appreciate your time and energy. Okay. Thank yeah, you, guys. That was really interesting. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay.